We're explaining the flight of the Discraft Heat at five different levels and giving it flight numbers for each. But first, what makes the Discraft Heat unique? The disc is in the details. Hey everyone, it's Greg from Six Sided Discs. Today's video is sponsored by Eagle Mills Disc Golf Course. More about them in just a moment. First though, let's learn about the Discraft Heat. The Heat is an understable fairway driver from Discraft, first approved by the PDGA in the fall of 2014. Released as a prototype for the 2014 Ace Race, it proved so popular that Discraft renamed it the Heat and gave it a full release soon after. It followed in the footsteps of the 2013 Ace Race disc, the Mantis, and the 2012 Ace Race disc, the Zombie, by adding some much needed variety to Discraft's fairway driver lineup. The Heat was initially described by Discraft as a further flying Avenger SS, which is surprising with the Heat being a 9 speed and the Avenger a 10. Some early reviews of the prototype found it to be even more understable with one reviewer giving it a whopping negative four turn. The Heat has a unique feel in the hand. Similar to the much newer Scorch, the edge of the rim on the Heat is very narrow, slowly tapering to a point. It doesn't feel like many other discs. It has a shallow feel in the hand thanks to its small tapered rim, and many runs have a significant dome. This smaller feel in the hand is likely what makes the Heat appeal to such a wide variety of players. Discraft has no shortage of different types of plastic to choose from, especially if you include all their different specialty runs released through Ledgestone or other partners. The heat is typically available in several stock plastics, including Z, Big Z, ESP, ESP Flex, Titanium, and X-Line. Each of these plastics is unique and has its own characteristics. Some may even affect the stability in the flight of the disc. For example, premium plastics like Z and Z-Flex may be more overstable than ESP or X-Line. Z-Plastic is a semi-transparent plastic that is slick when new, but becomes more grippy as it beats in. ESP plastic is an opaque, often swirled and colorful plastic that holds up well over time. ESP Flex is a more flexible version of ESP, while Big Z is an opaque, slightly flexible version of Z that features larger stamps with exciting artwork. Titanium is a more durable and slightly more flexible version of ESP plastic, while X-Line is a softer, grippier, mid-grade plastic. Before we talk about the flight of the heat and test it at different levels, I want to talk about today's sponsor, Eagle Mills Disc Golf Course. Eagle Mills Disc Golf Course is a private course located in Londonderry, Ohio, about an hour's drive south from the state capital of Columbus. Like any great private course, Eagle Mills offers unique touches that your local parks department would never sign off on, like saw blades for tee signs, a boat trailer for a tee pad, and the signature hole 14 with the basket perched atop an old camper that you'll have to sign when you visit the course. With a wide variety of shot shapes and significant elevation change on many holes, Eagle Mills Disc Golf Course will test every shot in a player's bag. Eagle Mills is hosting a fundraiser event on June 10th for owner and course designer Chris Gilkerson's daughter, Raven, to help fund her trip to Am Worlds. She is also one of the people throwing the heat for us in today's video. You can sign up for the tournament or learn more about Eagle Mills Disc Golf Course at the links in the video description. Thanks again to Eagle Mills Disc Golf Course for sponsoring today's video. Now, back to the heat. Remember that the flight of a disc is impacted by a lot more than the individual that's throwing the disc. The plastic, weight, and on-course conditions like wind or elevation can have a significant impact on how the disc will fly for you. Results may vary. Let's begin by analyzing the heat from a casual junior level. Throwing for the juniors is my son, Eli, who is happy to go out for a round of disc golf but usually ends up looking for snakes in the bushes or playing with sticks. For him, the heat flies like almost any other disc would for someone his age. Typically, he's throwing slightly nose up and gets a lot of fade. There's little difference in the flight of the heat for him than you would see from a Firebird for most players, so we're confident saying for the average 
MJ8 player, the heat is probably going to fly like a 9304 over stable fairway driver. Next, we move up to casual. My wife Emily is an active participant in six-sided discs, but a less active participant in rounds of disc golf. To this point, she's probably played less than five total full rounds of disc golf. For her, the heat is a stable fairway driver. Thrown on slight Anheuser, it quickly works back to flat before fading out. We would rate the heat at around a 9502 Thunderbird type fairway driver for your average casual player. For level 3, we move now to Raven, who plays at the top of the women's amateur division's FA1. Raven uses the Z heat for laser straight fairway shots. What Raven may lack in power, she makes up for in really smooth form and puts a lot of spin on the disc. This helps the heat hold a smooth straight line when thrown flat to navigate the tight fairways of Eagle Mills. While the heat may prove understable to many power throwers, for lower arm speeds, it can be an incredible straight fairway driver. At level three, the heat flies more like 9501 or 95 negative 11. For level four, we move to the border of MA3 and MA2, which is where I last found myself when I played competitively. While I can put a little bit of power to my backhands, I can only do it a few times before the elbow pain kicks in. Luckily, I got a good pull on this fairly stable Z heat before my elbow gave up for the next few days, and I was able to get it to turn slightly before fading back. The heat flies more like 9-5, negative 2-1 for myself. Lastly, we move to the top of MA1 with Max. And finally, perhaps we see the heat as Discraft intended. Max puts it out flat and gets a nice slow turn before it starts to flatten out and finds the top corner. What a goal! Anyways, another throw from Max and another big turn. For Max, the flight numbers of 9-5, negative 3-1 are pretty accurate, if not even more understable. Now remember, Discraft Z plastic is known to be pretty overstable for most molds most of the time. There will always be variations in that. If a Z heat though is too stable for your arm speed, try a heat in ESP or titanium plastic or maybe in a lighter weight. The Discraft heat has something for everyone. Whether you're an 8 year old junior or a 36 year old with elbow pain, the heat can fill a spot in your bag. So where does the heat fit in your game? Is it an overstable meat hook or a flippy roller? Or perhaps something in between? Comment below how the heat flies for you or what you throw in its place. You can sometimes find the Discraft heat on our website at sixsideddiscs.com or at the link in the description below. For Six Sided Discs, I'm Greg. We'll see you in the next one. Some early reviews of the Discraft, uh, the heat was initially described as a slightly faster. So where does the? <laughs> well, Big Z is an opaque, slightly flexible version of Z that features longer stamps. Features longer stamps. Oh, longer stamps. Thrown on slight Anheuser, it quickly, quickly. Quixly. Quixly. Okay. All right, it's on. That was so long. <laughs> <laughs> Ready? <laughs> now get out of the way. Pink. Oh! <laughs> I made the cut. Woo! Comment below what disc we should do next. 
Remember, the disc is in the details. If you like this content and want to see more, please consider liking the video, subscribing to our channel, or supporting us on Patreon. Your support makes this content possible.